What's going on guys? It's your boy Banji here with Nerdlag bringing you another Division 2 build video. This is my this is my new favorite SMG build. I like this build a lot. I use this um, doing little stuff, not ma um, you know, daily missions, stuff like that. When I want to change pace, when I want to change of weaponry. So I use this build a lot. I like it a lot, use it for a lot of bounties because it's real quick, um, but let's get into it. So the first thing that you need is the AUG Para XS, why? Because the rounds per minute is the highest one for SMG other than the P90. The P90's base damage is not as high as the AUG, so that's why we're using the AUG. The talents you want for this are... Optimist because of the weapon damage increased by 3% for every 10% ammo missing from the magazine. So that's always um, key for the for um, this build. Um, the second talent could be a little bit better. It could be extra, a little bit extra rounds, or it could be Allegro. One of those two. I have weapon handling because I had to re-roll for Optimist. And then the third talent could be whichever one you guys like. I like in rhythm because of how I can get a 5% uh, chance of refresh of active cool skill cooldowns once every minute. So I like that. So the mods I have on for it are damage to elites, 8%, the extra rounds, critical hit chance, and then damage to elite on the muzzle. So the specialization I use for this build is the grenade launcher one the demolitionist because of the the long under barrel rail the small laser pointer that it gives you for that um, specialization once you put into SMG gives you that 7% instead of having the 5% so the extra 2% helps out a little bit you'll see it in the stats so let's get into the secondary um, I like to use the P416 a lot of people are using like the AK but I don't really care for the AK it's I mean it's higher base damage but the rounds per minute are pretty low so the talents you want are Optimist I have Allegro and then because I had to re-roll re -roll for Optimist I got double duty for the last one could be a little bit better but it works out for this build because the this weapon is pretty much always holstered so I have a 20% chance of my magazine, getting my magazine back as free ammo, and that can occur every once every 30 seconds. <clears throat> so that's nice. And then for the secondary, I use the Liberty. Only use this because of the last talent down here, which is Independence, while holster, destroying weak points, refill 20% of your current weapons and magazine. So it's really nice. Um, I like it a lot helps out a lot especially when you're in a you have a wave of enemies coming during a solo mission when you're on like hard or hardened or when it's not on normal difficulty pretty much so let's go into the mask so you want the Sokolov Concern mask because of the first perk it gives you 10% SMG damage to SMG build so you want SMG damage the attributes you want for it are damage to elites, armor, and health. But because I had to reroll for damage to elites, I didn't get armor. I have health on kill and health. The talent that I would like to have on this, other than centered, but because I had to reroll for damage to elites, would be hardened. So that I get those extra 10% damage to elites. So let's get into the the chest piece here you want the Fenris group AB because it gives you that 10% assault rifle damage you want this because your assault rifle is most likely going to be your secondary but if you use a different secondary please make sure that you use the chest piece that correlates with that secondary otherwise your build's not going to be as good and so the talents uh, are the attributes you want are health headshot damage or critical hit chance and then you absolutely want weapon damage for this 
So since I had to reroll hard hitting, I didn't get to reroll weapon damage because if I rerolled weapon damage, it would be at 15% because I have a piece that has 15% on that I'm waiting to get to reroll on something. Mostly this piece, if I can find another Fenris Group AB piece, would be great. So then you want for the talents are Unstoppable Force and Hard Hitting. And I did not use the offensive mod slot because uh, of the Optimus for both my primary and secondary weapon. You can only have five reds, and I already have five reds. So I just left that blank. Getting into the holster, you want the second one of the Fenris Group AB because it gives you 10% protection from elites. The attributes I have are skill power and health. Could be um, a little bit better, but like I said, it is what it is. I got stuck with what I got, so the health is pretty high on it. Talent is hard hitting. Definitely want that power, that damage to elites. Let's get into the backpack. Now this is where all your armor and health is going to come from in addition to um, your armor pieces. So you want the Badger Tough because it gives you an extra 7% damage to elites. Um, the attributes I have are total armor, weapon damage at 10%, health, and more armor. And then the mods I have on it is a defensive mod which gives me an 8,000 8, health and armor regen and extra incoming health. Then for the gloves, the glove rule could be a little bit better on the health here and the talent, but it works out for this build because um, this gun is so accurate. It really doesn't jump up and down like the um, like other weapons do. So the precise talent on it is okay. It's not ideal for what I want. I would like hard hitting, but you definitely want to have the the attributes to be either health and armor health or armor and you definitely want SMG damage to be uh, uh, on that absolutely <clears throat> so let's get into the knees the knee pad will be your third of the Fenris group AB because it gives you 20% health on kill the attribute you want is either health or armor and then the talents you want are hard hitting and patience so you want patience because when you're sitting behind cover every five seconds, you your armor repairs by 5% every second. So that's a key since it is a high armor build. That works out a lot for us. So then getting into the t skills here, I use the chem launcher, um, the healing chem launcher and the, I have skill power and skill power for both of the mods so that helps out a lot and then I use the reviver hive for my second one and I have hive skill power and more hive skill power so let's see this build in action alright so let's take out this high value target See this SMG just wreck. That's the target agent. Right through that point and just wrecking through everybody else. And as you can see, every time I hit those criticals, there's a uh, weak points. I'm getting ammo back into my gun, just automatic. Agent. 
and that's my new SMG build and I hope you guys like it please leave a like down below please leave a comment down below please subscribe to the channel it helps us out a lot when you leave likes and um, comment so we know that we're giving you guys the proper content that you guys want like I say in all my other videos if you ever need help in the division um, send me a friend request rate your send a comment down below with your PSN name and we will hook up in the game and um, here in a couple weeks you'll be getting a lot of Borderlands 3 when that comes out but until then I will be posting as much Division 2 content as possible um, I will be releasing another build video by the end of the week it will be my favorite LMG video that I'm working currently on and I um, hope you guys like it. This is Banshee with Nerd Black. You guys have a blessed day. Peace.